Hello, this is New Vision TV and here's what's making news. I'm Lynn Komjisha. Some great musicians have produced adverts that turn into musical hits from Franco, Table, among very many others. New Vision TV traces this phenomenon to Uganda's new rage of MTN's Bosco Katala. In the 1960s, Congolese musician Pascal Emmanuel Simanoni Tabro Sheru, who later came to be better known as Table, captured the airwaves of Eastern Africa with his hit song Savomo, which actually was an advert for the Omo detergent because Savon simply means soap in French. Our grandparents and parents danced away at Savomo for years, many not knowing they were advertising Unilever's product. In 1973, the undisputed king of rumba, Ruambo Raza Makiadi, best known as Franco, released Aza, which still causes a sensation today at big parties. But Aza was just an advert for selling Volkswagen cars in Zaire, and Aza is simply an acronym for Association Zairaz d'Automobile, meaning Congolese Enterprise for Cars. And now Uganda's newest hit is Bosco Katala, an advert by the giant telecom MTN. Bosco is played in the country's old Kadon Kamu and resonates so well with the Ugandan ear that many people get a feeling they have heard it before, yet they are hearing the tune for the first time. Experts New Vision TV spoke to said actually the secret of Bosco's success lies mostly in the guitar played by a Ugandan of Congolese origin, Monso Shalma. <laughs> But sometimes things can move in the other direction when the hit song becomes an advert. Like Abalunji Balumia by one of Uganda's greatest contemporary musicians, Robert Chagulanyi, whose stage name is Bobby Wine. The song became a very popular telecom advert. <laughs> But how many youth will also decipher the message of hard work that Mr. Bosco Katala represents? Moving on, the Kabaka of Buganda, Ronald Menda Mutebi II, and the Navagerika, Slivia Najinda, yesterday celebrated 19 years of holy matrimony with a Thanksgiving service at uh, St. Paul's Cathedral in Mirembe, Kampala. On August 27, 1999, the Kabaka and Najinda tied the knot at a wedding that drew thousands of guests. This was the first royal wedding Ugandans were witnessing in 50 years, and the great moments arguably made this Uganda's wedding of this century. The Kabaka exchanged vows with Najinda, a former World Bank employee at Namirembe Cathedral. The guests included President Yori Museveni. The wedding came after the Kabaka had been on the throne for almost six years. In his sermon yesterday, the Bishop of Namirembe Diocese, Wilberforce Chito Ruwaida, reminded the congregation of the importance of thanksgiving, saying it should be part of everyone's life.
And now, President Yuri Museveni has paid tribute to the National Resistance Movement Party over its leading role in women empowerment. The President made the commendation yesterday during the induction of the newly elected National Women's Council at Hotel Africana in Kampala. Out of that number, whatever it is, 37 plus 24 plus 21 plus 9, I remember only three women, either three or two, you can one check. The ones I remember clearly were an Indian lady called uh, Ardina Vizram, who was actually alive until recently. She used to be our supporter in London. She was, she was alive. Ardina Vizram. And then Florence Rubega, who is still alive, and I would want you to go and maybe call on her, because she's still alive. Museven said NRM's record on women inclusion in public administration and other spheres of influence is unmatched in comparison to the other post-colonial governments. He implored the women leaders and others in positions of influence to champion the key issues of education and economic empowerment of the girl child. In our sports news, Uganda national under-17 team, the Cubs, beats Ethiopia 3-1 in the CAF regional qualifiers final to qualify for the 2019 Africa under-17 Cup of Nations finals that will be held in May in Tanzania. This will be the first time Uganda national under-17 team will be playing in such a big football showpiece. Uganda will now represent the Sekafa region in the finals of the 2019 Africa under-17 Cup of Nations that will be held from May 12th to the 26th. The victory over Ethiopia was also a revenge to the side that beat them 1-0 in their opening game of the competition. Eid Abdul Wahid notched a double in the 61 and 85 minutes while Samson Kasozi scored the other goal for Cubs in the 15th minute. The 3-1 win over Ethiopia was Uganda's fifth consecutive win in this competition. You're still watching New Vision TV and now for Paul of Africa series, we take a look at Lake Mbirinzi. In Masaka district lies Lake Mbirinzi. Besides its fresh water serving at the shores, tourists engage in donkey riding and bird watching. This is how you get to Lake Mbirinzi, with the shores offering a memorable experience. Let's take a look. <music> Lake Birinzi is approximately 23 kilometers by road east of the town of Masaka. Masaka district is one of the districts that cover the central region of Uganda. Here lies the ever fresh Lake Birinzi. Just like its breakaway from Lake Victoria, Lake Nabgabo, Birinzi has a soothing, quiet ambience, cold breeze, and fresh air around it. Different from other lakes, Birinzi is home to exotic flora. This enhances the shores, giving you the freedom to smell them, take pictures around them, and also a reason to come back. Fishing is one of the major activities locals and tourists engage in. The donkeys at the shores also offer one lifetime rides. More on the shores of Lake Birinzi's vegetation and a number of different types of trees and birds. However, the most interesting activity at Birinzi's boat riding as tourists love crossing through to meet the edges of the lake. With all this activity, you could just spend a weekend or a family vacation at Lake Birinzi. <laughs> However, for more Pile of Africa stories, visit our website www.newvision.co.ug. Our newspaper, The Sunday Vision, is also another home of adventures. So grab your copy every Sunday for Pile of Africa stories.
And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more of your updates on your mobile, on your desktop, on your tablet, anywhere on the go by visiting www.newvision.co.ug. I'm Lynn Komjisha.